Hello everybody and welcome to this very special Friday with Flinders. As we enter into this second lockdown, we wanted to give you an extra little moment of music. This is a snippet from Katie Abbott's Return to Sender, a piece that we'll be premiering on the Melbourne Digital Concert Hall next Thursday at 7pm. If you want to buy a ticket, there's a link in the description below. This is something that we recorded a couple of weeks ago with a brilliant Agatha Yim behind the camera and it shows a little bit about what we've been up to and the works that we've been developing whilst in lockdown. This is a very important piece, particularly at the moment, and we're thrilled that it represents the first time we'll be treading the boards since lockdown began back in March. Stay well everybody, we hope you enjoy this little snippet from Katie Abbott's Return to Sender and the little documentary that follows it. Take care, we'll see you soon. My husband is an architect and our work means we go into many people's homes and talk to our clients about the way they live in their homes and how they'd like to improve on it. Of course, nobody lives in the same way and everyone wants different things and the architect has to be skilled at making sure everyone is happy. This is when an architect must also be a relationship counsellor. One thing everyone agrees on, whatever country they come from, old or young, rich or poor, is that they want a place to live happily, comfortably and safely. Who knows, you may be an architect yourself, so you would understand this already. Wollongong is a beautiful place. I live near rainforest. I live far from the rat race. I live in the suburbs, north of and south of the city. In the city, I live in Wooroloo. I live close to, far from and nearby. My home is near to town. You're so far from your home is so far from here. I'm sorry you're in Nauru. I have a home you could live in. I'm close to the beach in Geelong, 75 kilometers from Melbourne. There's the ocean nearby. I live close to, far from, and nearby. I have no notion of what it's like there. I can hear you sometimes, far from your home. I want to tell you your home. I want to tell you your home. The weather has been unusually lovely. We've been able to sit outside in our place. We have a place. We're close to the town, far from the shops, near a service station where there's a lot of noise. I can't abide heat, but it's cooling in the evenings. It's cooling down. Recently, I worked in North Queensland. It's hot there like where you are. You're uncomfortable, I know that. Where are you? And what's it like? You have my sympathy. I don't like the heat. I live on the north coast, in the hills of Perth, on the west coast, in the far south, inland by a river. There's a creek at the back of our, our place. I live close to, far from, and nearby. The one earth we live on, that we all share. Colours are amazing. Red earth, 
green hills and blue sea. We live in a tiny old house beside a big lake. People love to sail and windsurf. On the far side of the little lake is a thin strip of forest. On the other side of that, the Pacific. Inland there are farms that graze cattle. I live in a big town. Now I live in a small town. Wollongong is beautiful. Here the birds are singing. A beautiful autumn day with clear blue skies. Views over the Indian Ocean, over the Pacific. Across to the far side of the river, I look outside. There are some clouds in the sky. I wonder what sky you are looking up at. Wollongong is a beautiful place. I live near rainforest. I live far from the rat race. I live in the suburbs, north of and south of the city. In the city, I, I live kept in remembering Wollongong. about an article I read where Australians had written about 2,000 letters of encouragement and support to the asylum seekers on Nauru, which had been sent there over a couple of years. What had made the news in 2015 was that they were all sent back together, unopened and undelivered. You're so far from your home, is so far from here. I'm sorry you're in Nauru. This piece came about because I was writing a piece called Hidden Thoughts, which is based on the anonymous hidden thoughts of women. I enjoyed that process so much, I was inclined to think what else I could do. Katie and I have been friends for a long time and she had this idea about the project with the letters and we're just lucky that Julian Burnside is chair of our board, so we actually had access to them. At the moment, winter is approaching. I've been involved in the refugee issue for quite a long time and one thing became clear, which is that a lot of Australians were more able to respond to individual refugees than to the whole idea of refugees. But we can't I managed to get hold of a list of all the refugees held on Manus and on Nauru and uh, I simply encouraged people to write letters to refugees, send them to me and I would then send them it's on. It's been very good for the garden, especially as we've had some very dry years. 
What I was hoping was that it would give individual Australians the opportunity of making a meaningful contact with individual refugees so that they would stop classifying all refugees as the same. They would begin to see them as people. I am able-bodied and have the luxury of choice and have no... I love setting text and I like setting text that's not necessarily something that's designed to be sung. My political so I was finding that I was pulling out text from here and oh, I quite like that quote here and gee isn't that one delightful that has to make it in. So there was a, there was a whole process that I had to go through about choosing which text made it in. I can marry anyone. It's always a thrill to work with a composer where the vision is sublimely clear. Marry anyone I choose. The moments where the string instruments need to mimic the voice or the voice comes in on top of the instruments, that kind of synchronicity, it's quite magical. That's the kind of thing that we look for in music all the time, the natural rhythm or the organic way of producing sound. On the west coast, in the far south, inland by a river, there's a creek at the back of our, our place. I live close to, far from, and nearby. The one earth we live on, that we all share. What's great about music is that it can cut through all the head and the chatter and go straight to the guts. Sometimes you can hear difficult things, difficult words, through music that if that were spoken, or said, or yelled, you may not be able to hear. On the other side of that, the Pacific. I really hope that for the people that wrote the letters, this piece represents the outward expression of their willingness to welcome people that have had a very tough journey coming here. Here, the birth. It's meaningful to me to be able to have other people's letters brought forward into the public space. My hope is that the people who should have received the letters get to hear it. the far side of the river, I look outside. There are some clouds in the sky. I wonder what sky you are looking up at. It took me a few years, but I came across the idea that if you keep on trying, you might just, you might just succeed. But if you give up, you will certainly not succeed. So I just keep on going in the hope that it will make a difference.